everybody, it's Sandy here from Fit for Life, and we are the Monday after Thanksgiving. Are you still feeling a little full, guys? I know I am. So, anyways, like this main focus for me right now is to detox like the next day or two and then kind of get back on track. So, today I'm bringing you guys a couple tips to staying on track during the holiday season because let's face it, I know I've been there, I'm sure a lot of you have been there, between Thanksgiving and like New Year's Day or the day after, like January 2nd, we eat, you know, we eat, we have fun, there's like parties every single weekend, the kids have stuff going on, the kids are home, so that means snacking more and traveling and doing things that we wouldn't normally always do during the year. So in order to stay on track and not be part of that statistic where you gain anywhere from five to 10 pounds between Thanksgiving and like Christmas, New Year's, that's a lot guys and that takes a lot to burn off. It'll take you a whole year just to get rid of that weight and four weeks to gain it, I don't think so. So I'm here today to bring you guys some tips to stay on track, some things that I do myself to stay on track and the number one thing that I do is be consistent and work out. You have to. I don't care what you do and I'm not going to sit here and tell you not to indulge or not to enjoy in that peppermint mocha Starbucks drink or whatever creative coffee drink that you make because I'm a coffee lover and I will be indulging in that. Um, or whatever dessert you want, or maybe there's a brunch, or you know, whatever it may be. I'm gonna indulge, I'm not gonna tell you guys how to do it because I'm gonna do it myself. But the number one thing is you gotta stay focused and you gotta keep working out. No matter what you do, whether it's walking, whether it's doing 10 minutes of exercise, whatever it is that you decide to do, make sure that you're consistent and keep doing that because it's super, super important this time of the year. This is what's gonna set you up for the new year. So just stay focused, work out. If you're gonna indulge one day because there's a party, make sure you're working out the next day so that you don't kind of sit around and feel guilty for all the crap that you ate the day before, okay? So number one thing, you gotta work out. Number two, you gotta stay hydrated. Drink lots and lots of water, and I don't mean all those holiday cocktails that I know that we're going to be indulging in, So I'm sure there's some fancy craziness that people are gonna be creating at these parties. Um, so water, you gotta stay hydrated. The you know generic, I guess, equation or calculation is taking your weight and dividing it by two, and that is the amount of ounces. So for example, if you weigh 140 pounds, you divide it by two, and that's 70, and that gives you 70 ounces. That is like the bare minimum that you need to be drinking a day, 70 ounces. I know some of you out there are guilty of drinking one bottle of water, which is like 17 ounces. That's crazy, ridiculously low. So don't do that, okay? Make sure you're drinking more. Um, so yeah, so you gotta be drinking half of your weight in ounces. That's the minimum. That's if you're not being active. If you're active or you're drinking caffeinated beverages or if you're drinking uh, alcoholic beverages, you need to be drinking more water, okay? So keep that focus, number two. Stay hydrated, drink lots and lots of water. It's also gonna keep you full and it's gonna get rid of all that stuff in your system. So drink lots and lots of water, okay? Number three tip, all right guys? This is number three. Have a plan. So that means that if you're gonna go to a party or if you're gonna have fun, have a plan in place. Whether that means you're going to be eating you know, protein during the day to keep you full or whether you're saving yourself for that dinner at that night. Don't be indulging all day long and then go into a party and indulge even more. That's where the weight gets packed on. You have to have a plan in place. If you know you're going to a party on Friday night, guess what? Friday, you don't need to starve yourself, but be considerate to yourself. You know, eat more veggies, eat more, you know, keep it low on the carbs if you know that you're gonna be indulging in carbs later on in the day, okay? So make sure, and then keep the focus on, you know, the fiber and keep that going in your system. So have a plan in place, and then that plan kind of carries over to the next day. If you indulge the night before, and it's Friday night, go, don't go into Saturday waking up like, woohoo, it's time to party, let me eat donuts for breakfast. No, it doesn't work like that. That's where the pounds start packing on, okay? So you gotta have a plan. I know it sucks 
and we just want to eat all day long and be able to not gain any weight. Trust me, I want to eat peanut butter all day long and not gain weight, <laughs> but it doesn't work like that. So you got to stay focused and you got to have a plan in place. All right, guys. So remember the three tips. All right. So don't, uh, don't forget them. Stick to it. It's holiday season. Don't fall into the statistics of gaining all that weight and be consistent and stay on track and we'll see you next time. Happy holidays, everybody. See you later. Bye.